Hiya guys, what's up? So I ended up finding another monolith. This <laughs> describes something nearby. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village and they washed me away. Well, it just keeps moving. But we also have this. Hello. Hello, Ishiki. It's rare to see outsiders in the city. Pisco sent me to speak with you. Ah, Pisco. I like him. You've seen other outsiders? Only one. He was handsome, gentle, and kind. We were in love. But our love is forbidden. Outlawed by the cult of Kukulkan. That's awful. I'm sorry. I was sentenced to death. Tied to the cliffs and left to die. On the third day, I welcomed death. That's when he found me, the outsider. He freed me and treated my wounds. Who was he? I don't know his name. It's been many years, but I still hope to see him again. I often return to the cliffs near the condor nests and collect their feathers. They remind me of him. That's a remarkable story. Thank you for trusting me with it. Thank you for listening, Ishiki. Okay. <sighs> Hello. Have you come here to escape the bustle of the city? Ah, uh, I already the talked to you. It's loud. Did I already find this one? I think I did. Uh, just continue following. Still, yes, I'm still thin. <laughs> Do kids don't authority where you come from, Ishiki? I think it's part of growing up, pushing boundaries. Are they in danger? No, the guards threaten, but when they were young, they threw rocks at guards too. What's this? I'm pretty sure this is not what it was talking about. Pretty sure. But it's free stuff. What? Someone's taking this old walkie-talkie apart. Were they making an attempt at reverse engineering, I wonder? Okay, let's see. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village and they washed me away. Hmm. 
washed me away. Oh. Did I just trap myself here? No, no. Good, good, good. Would you like to hear a story? One that my mother used to tell. I would love to. Do you notice the pool? Nope. I already listened to that, so... Pretty sure I'm going crazy. Okay, uh... Well, go this way. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess I can go this way. Yeah, I'm going to go that way. Hello. Hello. Are you an outcast? Yes, Ishiki. Hello. I Hello. heard you talking about a white capybara. Oh, not just one. There are many of them. Pisco sent me to speak to all those who are cast out. You're a hunter. I am now. I was once a farmer, but that wasn't the life for me. I felt trapped. Forced to live up to the duties and expectations brought down by my family. I finally refused and went my own way. And a white capybara was responsible? No, Ishiki. I heard of them. One night they assaulted my field. Trampled everything, but I did nothing to stop them. I just watched. They gave me an idea. I heard of this capybara all oh, white. What if I could hunt them? What if I could finally get away from the fields? So you did it. Best decision I ever made. My father disowned me, gave the farm to my sister, but that's fine with me. I'm a hunter now. They call me Paimo the White. <laughs> Thank you for the entertaining story, Paimo. Thank you, Ishiki. So, where's this last outcast? Because... Oh! Does he show up, like, as the last one? Ooh, secrets out. What secrets? Oh! Okay, then. I'm heading into that direction. Remak, I think we have a visitor. Ah, last one. Hello. Hello. You're Lara, aren't you? Uh. Ah. Pisco sent you. Uh -huh. He did. I'm Moreika. That was the second time I heard your name today, Lara. The cultists are talking about you. You're the one who started the cleansing. The one who found the key of Shakshen. I am. Oh, don't feel bad, child. The cleansing was long overdue. It must be decided. Do we continue or begin again? That's not an easy decision. Did you hear that, Remak? Deciding the fate of the world is not easy. <laughs> I like this one. You're right, Lara. It isn't. And if the cult of Kukulkan decides, they will enslave us all and call it protection. Won't they, Remak? 
<laughs> he doesn't talk much. The cult is acting out of fear. Fear of what? Fear of the outside. Fear of change. But the same threats that are outside are in all of us. It's true. Very fear true. is the enemy, not change. Change is the only constant. That's actually kind of funny. Oh, look at me rambling on, Dreamac. The lady must want to buy something to help in her search. Ooh, buy something. Where the hell did you get an automatic pistol, lady? <laughs> uh... Enjoy it. I think I will. Mm, good deal. Ah. Uh. Enjoy it. Well, I, I think you're mm, going to be the one who's enjoying deal. it. Don't have enough for that, but... I got the asunder. You've already spoken to them, haven't you? I have. But you still don't see it. They all had hope. You need to do better than that if you want to win the game, Lara. Hope is one thing, but all those who have been cast out have thrived in their new lives despite their circumstances. Even you, Pisco. Well, I am the best Patoli player Paititi has ever known. <laughs> Not bad for a dead man. <laughs> Not bad at all. So again, what did you learn? I learned that sacrifice can make your life better. That you shouldn't be constrained by the legacy of your family. You can find your own path. Love is stronger than death, and you need to believe in something greater than yourself. But ultimately, you can't control everything. It's what you make of your situation that defines you. Well said, Lara. You're sure you're not dead? <laughs> <laughs> Ducky thinks he lost his dice because he was unlucky. But it's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. I see that now. What did you think of Moreka, the outcast? She was expecting me. She seemed to know quite a bit about me. Ah, she knows a lot about everything, Ishiki. She has the most wondrous items in her shop. Artifacts known only to the gods. I saw. You were lucky you found her. She often travels outside of Paititi, gathering inventory. She seemed the most optimistic. Of course she is. We have a saying in Paititi. We all create destiny. We don't choose our circumstances, only our actions. A lesson my friend Taki needs to learn. Well played. Thank you, Pisco. I'll bring the dice back to Taki. Listen for the sound of drums. Is that a hint? Um... I still need to do that. Do 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 Okay, now I'm around here. Impossible. I can't carry any more. Uh. 
I need to also get the horn. Ooh, I'm starting to go the wrong way. <laughs> Getting all topsy turned. Hey, kid. I found your dice, Taki. Oh, thank you. Didn't you say Pisco stole your dice? Everyone knows Pisco steals. According to him, you wanted to play a game and you lost. He wouldn't let me play again. Just one more roll and I would have won. Pisco wanted you to know. It's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. Now that I have my dice back, I can practice more. Thanks again, Ishiki. Thanks again, Ishiki. I'm happy to have my dice back. Ah, yes. I need to return that. Just running, running, running. Just running, running, running. Get out of my way, man. King's Horn. Yes. Here you go, my friend. Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The King's Horn, as requested. Did Kabir hey, give yeah. you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. <laughs> Thank you for this, Lara. <laughs> of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has oh. returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quincy that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. <laughs> Jonah's right. That describes Quinty perfectly. And Laura, apparently. <laughs> I never should have sent Quinty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old sister. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. <laughs> Please don't encourage him. <laughs> the entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. <laughs> Best cliffs to jump off of. Oh. So I already did that. Ooh, these. Oh, that's where Echoes of the Past is. <laughs> and the totems need to be destroyed. We're going for that one. Now, I believe there was another high dive that I was screwing up. It'll lead right down there anyway, so... I might as well jump off of it now. In hopes of getting the damn high dive.
Nope, still not doing it. Wasn't there a monolith around here? This uh, describes yes. something nearby. The waters below protect me from the waters above. But is there a way to climb up there? Okay, so why is this a capable climbing spot? This is great. Oh, Uchu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree. I remember coming over here at some point. the entrance. Oh, I did not see that before, did I? Yeah. So, uh, I think I'm actually going to call it you guys. So, uh, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.